So I developed this thing called the Core Problem Planner. And this is the problem that my entire company revolves around. And what I do, and actually, this is, uh, this is how I left ClickFunnels, was I had a, a list of problems on a whiteboard. And I was like, okay. And I decided, all right, I'm going to go into that MLM space. And I know who I'm going to serve inside there. And uh, what's the big major problem? And what I started doing is I kept track of tons of problems, tons of them. I had I've seven whiteboards in my office, <laughs> okay? And a lot of whiteboards. And on there, just, there were literally whiteboards full of problems, like super small writing throughout that. And I was just thinking through it, thinking through it, thinking through that. And what I was really trying to do was identify the one problem that I was going to solve. Okay? And, and, and uh, actually, it's something I learned from Russell. Um, he told me um, a little while ago, <laughs> he said, when I stopped, he, he said the issue uh, a few years into me being in business was that I'd go to these parties. And I'd go to these marketing parties and everyone would stand around and say, oh, that guy over there, he's the VSL guy. Oh, cool, it's the VSL guy. And that guy over there, he's the one that writes your copy. Oh, cool, they write the copy. He's the one that actually write all the words for you. That guy over there, he's the presentation guy, right? That guy's the stage guy. And he said that after a while, someone walked up and said, no one knows what guy you are. <laughs> and he said at that point, he said, I realized that I was trying to solve, trying to be all things to all people. And because he wasn't clear on that core problem, people didn't know how to approach him. Okay, I think it was David Ogilvy that says, the market will treat you the exact way you tell it to. Which is really cool. The market's a mirror. So you need to sit back. I think it was David Ogilvy that said that. You need to sit back and think for a second, which problem will my business be completely dedicated to solving? What is the market? All right, we go back here to why ClickFunnels was born, right? What problem does ClickFunnels solve for everybody? The funnel, right? They solve the problem of building the actual funnel itself, and everybody knows that. And it's not like they're, well, we solve that, and solve that, and solve that, and solve that. No, no, no. One thing. And too many times what I notice, how many of you guys have like a lot of skill sets? You, you kind of pick them up and you go, yeah, me too, right? And for a long time, I was like, well, I can teach you how to, I'm going to teach you how to do uh, affiliate stuff and you're going to be the offer thing and here's the sales message and by the way, here's how to do content and here's how to build the funnel and here's how to do the footers and here's how to do squeeze pages. And let's go teach you email follow-ups and here's, whew. anyone ever actually gone through all of my content? <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Very hard. And it's because for such a while, I was doing the exact same thing, where I was like, this, 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 this. In the market, I remember somebody walked up to me, and they said, we, we, we know that you, this is only like a year ago, we know you do a lot of stuff, but like, what can I pay you for? And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> I did it. You know, I, I, I'm, oh, man, I'm doing it. And I hadn't zeroed in and told everybody, instead of leading with solution, 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 hey, here's the problem. And the moment I started focusing on the problem, it's when the capitalist pig thing came out. I actually didn't really create that. The boom thing, that came out of frustration, not actually like a shtick. <laughs> Same with the Monday baby thing. I was just like jacked. It was Monday once on Instagram that became a thing. Okay, <laughs> the reason all this happened though is because I got clarity on the problem. Okay, ClickFunnels market, I'm gonna be complimentary to you inside of the space and I'm going to say, you know what? I am complimentary, I'm an accelerant. And I know that in order to have a funnel, you need an offer and a sales message. Does that make sense? Then I target it at those people, and that's how I craft my positioning with the actual market. Ahas? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So look at the core problem planner, and there's a few things that I'll go and I'll rank these problems by. Okay. And I encourage you to start doing this. We're actually going to take a few minutes and a little bit here and do this. Start writing down all the problems that you know your customer, your dream customer, dream, remember they're a buyer, okay? All the problems that you see your dream customer having and experiencing, not just in the market, but with where they're trying to go. And you start writing down all their problems. Oh, you have this problem, you have this problem, you have this problem, you have this problem, okay? You guys ever see, uh, I haven't done it every time, but you know, in one funnel way, uh, it's one of the first things I do is we list out a whole bunch of problems with someone random from the crowd. You guys remember that? Anyone see that, right? And, and we got this list of problems 
Um, in fact, it'd be kind of fun to do that real quick here so you guys can see this. Because this is, this is one of the easiest ways uh, which you get to creating, not just an offer, but dedicating your entire business that you can walk out to the world and say, this is what I do. Which I hate answering that question that everyone someone asks. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Um, what's your product? Yeah. MLM, what do you sell? Energy drinks? Okay. What are all the, um, so it's energy drinks, and people are, why do people buy it? You all right with this? Hello. Hello. Um, people are tired all day long, they're tired at work, they're trying to get more done. Yeah, trying to get more done. Now, what are the problems somebody who's buying energy drinks might experience? No energy. No energy. <laughs> Come on, camera dude. All right, what other problems? What's that? Lack of focus. Productivity. Okay, they're also experiencing the can't keep up with their kids. Addiction to it? Sounds good. What's that? Yeah, the, the perception of what health actually is. What else? Don't know what's in it? Yeah, yeah, maybe they're a little bit more, yeah, yeah. They don't know what health is, but then also some of them are probably health conscious. So I, I've done this multiple times. I actually did this for this event. What are the problems they're going to be experiencing before they show up to offer mine? Hmm. Pay for it. Interesting. What's that? Pay for it, the money. Yeah, actually being able to pay for it. All righty. Now, what is the solution? Can we go back to the slides again just for a moment? What are the solutions? Uh, what solution could we give to, oh, you know, I don't have any energy? The actual drink itself. Okay, so then what I do is I write solutions. I'm sorry, you can come back on me if you're, <laughs> my bad. Okay, uh, lack of focus. How could we solve their lack of focus? Market, entrepreneurs are problem solvers, so we do this a lot. Meditation, interesting. So we can go here, we can say, hey, with this energy drink, I'm gonna give you a thing on how to meditate. How could we make it more productive? You're like, here's a second drink. An <laughs> 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 uh, ebook on it. Sorry, <laughs> that's what I heard. Sorry. Okay, ebook. Um, how could we help them have energy with their kids? <laughs> the babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could have them, um, you know, what if we gave them like two or three activities they could do with their kids? We know you're trying to figure out what to do with your kids, what's to come home or whatever. Take this energy drink, you'll have all the energy in the world, but here's something to do with them. Don't give them the energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, activity. Okay, what about uh, addiction? Oh, you know what? What if we interviewed an addiction specialist around substance abuse? And you get that with free, for free with this. You see what I'm saying? This is not just an energy drink anymore. Hey. Throw rocks at sugar. What's that? Throw rocks at sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw rocks at sugar. Okay. Um, addiction specialist. Okay. Anyway, you guys see the major point of this. Now, Thinking of the core problem planner, what's the cost to me to provide something like meditation? This is, this is how I literally choose a lot of times within my offers. Right, yeah, it's probably zero. I mean, I can go to somebody and say, hey, could you teach them how to meditate? Uh, and, and for that, you're, you're gonna get your name out a lot more, right? That's a very common move. What about a productivity ebook? There's probably a billion of them out there that you could go out, right? Or somebody who's like, yeah, I'll write that for you. Oh, interesting. Zero. What about the, the kids' activities? 
It's info, zero. Okay, same thing with like an addiction specialist, probably zero. And if not zero, real cheap, right? Now what about the actual um, price? What would you charge them? Okay, as far as price goes, one of the things I would, so we go back to price here. You know what I would do? What's, uh, what's the cost of the energy drink? Or what's the, it's about, uh, what do they pay me? $2 a serving. For the, on the, I'm sorry, the price for them, two bucks? About two bucks a serving. Wow. So we are gonna get, give you, when you buy two, you get three free. So they're paying 10 bucks. Okay, and then the price to them is zero, 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 zero. What do you think the value is of a meditation thing? Two hundred bucks, depending where you go. Right? What about a productivity ebook? How much would somebody pay for that normally? Thirty-seven bucks. Okay. What about? Um, Oh, I'm just trying to, my lines aren't straight. <laughs> what about the kids' activities piece? <laughs> it could be your priceless one. Yeah, yeah. We, we do that sometimes, yeah. Let's say it's, I don't know, 15 bucks. Um, addiction specialist? Ooh. That's a biggie one. Let's, let's go with 97 bucks on that one as well. Okay, now total all that up. I'm really bad at math. But what is that? Three, three, thirty? Something like that? The so total value of 350, and you're gonna pay 10 bucks, right? You get two, you get three free, plus all this stuff. Boom, offer. Who wants to buy my energy drink? Make sense? Yeah. It's from the core problems that the offer is easy. That's the easiest place to get offers from. Okay, so I wanna go through and I wanna identify what my core problem is that my whole business is gonna solve. Now I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna serve, I'm just gonna, um, uh, I'm just gonna choose one of these things to set my whole business on, okay? Let me grab my, oh, here it is, okay? Now once I've done this, I'm able to fill out what I call uh, the new market statement. And if we could hit the slides one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna go out, oh, the last thing I'm gonna go do is I'm going to uh, see how well, uh, is this making sense so far? Yeah, is that helpful to watch? Okay, this works for anybody. Uh, 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 see, I did it with an insurance company a year and a half ago. Insurance company. <laughs> we were trying to figure out how to make an offer out of insurance. Um, it doesn't matter what you're selling. Software, super awesome. B2B, super easy to do. Retail, it doesn't matter. It's human psychology. That's why it works. That's why it's not like, whoa, does it work with ClickFunnels? Like, yeah. But it matters like how you're doing it, right? It matters the core problem. So.